Alright. We are now going to play our third segment of Billy's birthday special, which is Jeopardy for the Xbox 360. Let's see how much we can win in this game, shall we? This is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestant. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Rivet. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth 200 to All right, let's see the categories for the first categories. round. Sports legends. Fictional characters. Zoology. Missing links. Electric company. Hey, you and guys. the National Park System. All right, let's get All back right, let's into start this. Missing player one. Right up your blank oop. Yes, player one. What is Allie? Oh. Right, you are. Missing links for four hundred. Player one. Ohio blank wedding anniversary. What is silver? Okay, player one. Ooh. You got it. Same category for six. Please pick break the blank of America. Let's hear it, player what is one. Bank. Yes. Eight hundred. You again, player oh. one. By the blank in. Okay, player what one. What is wayside? Yep. And let's finish the category. Player one. News blank photography. What is flash? Okay, player one. Correct. Ran right through that category. Player one. Sports again. legends for 200. Barry Bonds broke this man's home run record of 755. Let's hear it, player one. Who is Hank Aaron? That's wow. right. Wait Sports go. legends for 400. Player one. This seven-time Tour de France champ said the New York City Marathon was the hardest physical thing he'd ever done. They actually lost all Player those one. titles uh, because of a doping scandal. Who is Lance Armstrong? That's yeah. right. Way to go. Sports Legends for 600. Player one. From 1984 to 1992, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, and this man won all the NBA's regular season MVP awards. Let's hear it, Player one. Who is Magic Johnson? Correct. Sports Legends for 800. We return in 1904. He became the first pitcher in the American League to throw a perfect game. An award is named for him. Who is Cy Young? Yes, player one. Right. Oh. Selecting. Let's take it over to Kelly. The Green Bay Packers maintain a replica of the office of this legendary coach known for his commitment to winning. It's player one. Who is Vince Lombardi? That's right. Way to go. Six thousand dollars already. Please pick again. Fictional characters, two hundred. What a happy ending! This title orphan of a Dickens novel is adopted by Mr. Brownlow. Yes, player one. Uh, who is Oliver Twist? Yeah. Right, you are. Fictional characters for four hundred. Player one. This character in the legend of Sleepy Hollow is said to be the ghost of a Hessian trooper. The correct response is Headless Horseman. Headless Horseman. Fictional characters for six. Player one. She is the narrator of To Kill a Mockingbird. It's player two. Scout Finn. That yeah. is correct. Yes. Player two, start us. 
Two names that follow Gerald, who speaks in weird sounds instead of words in a Dr. Seuss story. Okay, player one. What is McBoing Boing? That yeah. is correct. Let's finish the category. Where do we go? Answer! Daily Double! Yeah. Answer! It's the Daily Double. You are in first place. Decide on your wager, player one. Well, let's go for 2,000. And the Daily Double Clue. In a story by Rudyard Kipling, this mongoose protects an English family from snakes. Mm, who is Ricky Ticky Tabby? That was yes. even further ahead. Player one, you Electric Company please. 200. The world's first public electricity supply was provided in 1881 to a city in this country. We're talking about England. England. 400 Electric Company. Layer 1. Using direct current, this U.S. Metropolis's first electric supplier was the Pearl Street Power Station in 1882. Okay, Player 2. New York City? Yep. <laughs> yep. Player two, you start us off. Electric company for six. Still around today, this power company was one of the first 12 companies included in the Dow Jones Industrial Average in 1896. Here's the correct response. General Electric. General Electric, oh. Player two, choose again. Here's some current info. Duke Energy, headquartered in this state, brings electric power to four million people. It's player one. What is North Carolina? Yeah. And correct. And let's finish up the category. Where do we be? In 1882, this U.S. inventor opened a steam-powered electricity generating station. It's player three. James Watt? Sorry, oh. no. That's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here is what we wanted. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. So I was thinking. Uh, Select again. So all G for 200. The giant Pacific this may have as many as 1,600 suckers on its arms. They help it to taste and touch. Player one? What is squid? Sorry, uh, that's no. wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? First one I've missed in this game. We're talking about the octopus. It was either the squid or the octopus, and I chose the wrong one. Four. Player one. While it doesn't breathe fire, the dragon named for this Indonesian island does kill its prey with its deadly saliva. Let's hear it, player one. What is Komodo? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. 600 zoology. You again, player Dog one. Doggone it, a mud puppy isn't a little doggy, but a large one of these amphibians. It's player one. Uh, what is the frog? Oh, no. Back under 10 grand. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player three. The toad? No. Nope. Nope. It's the salamander. Anyone else? It's player two. Good for you. <laughs> Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we... A type of this snake that sounds like a James Clavell novel is Australia's deadliest and most feared. Yes, player three? Taipan? Yeah. That is correct. Yes. 
Player three, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? The rare white alligator has a condition called leucism, meaning it lacks this skin pigment. Okay, player two. What is menelin? All right. Yep. One category left. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player two, make us a... A national memorial in this city commemorates the site of the April 19th, 1995 bombing that killed 168. Okay, player one. What is Oklahoma City? That yeah. is correct. National Park System for four. Player one. The Philadelphia home where he wrote The Telltale Heart is now a national historic site. Let's hear it, player three. Edgar Allan Poe? <laughs> yep. Player three, you start. Fort Necessity, the site of the first battle of this war on July 3rd, 1754, was designated a national battlefield in 1961. Here's the response we were looking for. The French and Indian French and Indian War. War. You again, player three. Lying in both Tennessee and North Carolina, it has more annual visitors than any other national park. Yes, player two. Sequoia National oh. Park, nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player three. Zion National so, Park? No. Any other takers? Well, that's a free shot for me then. Player one. What is Great Smoky Mountains National Park? Ah! And let's see the last clue and for a thousand. For one thousand dollars. Christiansted National Historic Site on this largest of the U.S. Virgin Islands commemorates its Danish heritage. It's player three. St. Croix. That is correct. Yep. And that does it for the Jeopardy round. Player three is going first in the double Jeopardy round, which starts after this. All right, quick score recap. I have 10,400. Player two is 1,800. Player three is minus 200. They'll select first in double Jeopardy after this.